In this video, we will be looking at the day Josh Allen became a star. Let's start the video. Last year during the 2020 NFL season, Josh Allen burst out onto the scene, throwing for career highs in passing yards and passing touchdowns, also earning his first Pro Bowl and being ranked in the top 10 players in the NFL by his peers. He had his breakout season. But the most important game in this impressive year was in week two, a competition between two of the best teams in the AFC East, the Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen got off to a pretty good start during the 2020 season. In week one, he cruised past a pretty bad Jets team, but heading into week two, he was up against a lot tougher competition. The Dolphins in 2019 were really bad. There is no questioning that. Although, thanks to good drafting and smart free agency moves, by the start of the 2020 NFL season, Brian Flores and the Dolphins put together a really solid roster. The best part of their team was their secondary, led by Xavier Howard, one of the best cornerbacks in the league. To show how dominant he is, this is a list of the top 10 players with the most interceptions from 2017 to 2019. Xavier Howard had the fourth most interceptions in that time span. Even more impressive, he played 10 less games than everyone else in this top 10. This defense was a group of smart players led by a few really good veterans. With that, Josh Allen was still very much unproven. In his rookie season, he did not play good at all. In his second season, he showed improvement, but still not good. The Bills did make it to the playoffs that year, but the defense that was ranked second in the league carried the team heading into his third season. A lot of people were still overlooking and doubting him. Chris Sims ranked him as the 18th best quarterback in the league. PFF ranked him as a tier four quarterback with players like Gardner Minshew and Drew Locke. This was his make or break season. Adding even more pressure on top of that, the Buffalo Bills had not won their division or a playoff game in 25 years. To put into perspective how bad that is, the last time they won their division or a playoff game, the Panthers and the Texans did not even exist. Jerry Rice led the league in receiving yards. Jim Harbaugh, former 49ers head coach, won comeback player of the year, and Josh Allen was not even alive yet. Bills fans have suffered a lot through those years, and the weight of the franchise was on Josh Allen's shoulders. If he did not play great this year, then he would most likely be on the hot seat. He had insanely high expectations to succeed. It was a game between a solid team looking to bounce back from a rough season and a promising team looking for their quarterback to take the franchise to the next level. Finally, it was time for the two teams to go at it. Not only did Josh Allen play great, but he played the best game in his entire career. The Bills walked away with a 31-28 win. Josh Allen set career highs for passing yards, passing touchdowns, and passer rating. Probably even more impressive, he managed to go the whole game without a single turnover. That season, the Dolphins led the league in takeaways, and Xavier Howard led the league in interceptions and passes defended. Josh Allen managed to not turn over the ball against a defense that was the very best at forcing turnovers. Josh Allen played the best game of his career so far, but he also put the league on notice. Showing everyone what he could do, Josh Allen went on to lead the Bills to a 13-3 record, winning the AFC East for the very first time in 25 years and getting the Bills their very first playoff win in 25 years, taking them all the way to the AFC Championship. Along with that, he earned a Pro Bowl, finished second in MVP voting, ranked as the 10th best player for 2021, 
and finished in the top 10 for most jerseys sold during the 2020 NFL season. This was the day that Josh Allen became a star. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, I'll see you guys next time.